Thunder hosting the Warriors, and the Warriors are four or four and a half point favorites. The over-under is at 241. The Warriors are minus 180 on the money line. The Thunder are plus 155. The Thunder have won their last two. The Warriors lost the last game that they played. Now, before you bet on this game, go to Twitter, go to Underdog NBA, and see what players are playing for either side of this game. Use a site like VegasInsider.com. It'll allow you to compare all the casinos' pricings in one place so you get the best bang for your buck. And then if you're looking to see how these teams are done individually, head-to-head against the spread, so on and so forth, go to a site like Covers.com, and it pretty much has all that information there for you. Now, head-to-head, the home team is 5-5 and in their 10 meetings. The Warriors are on an 8-game winning streak against the Thunder. The Warriors are 8-2 and two against the Thunder in their last 10. The favorite is 6-3-1 and one against the spread, while the favorite is a perfect 10-0 and oh on the money line. So however they make the favorite, that's the team who generally wins the game, at least in their last 10 meetings. The over has hit in their last two games. The over-under is 5-5, five and five, and the under 241 specifically is 7-3. and three. The last game that they played, not only did the Warriors win, they blew out the Thunder 141-114. In Golden State, the game before that, the Warriors won 128 to 120 in OKC. The game before that, they won 110-98 in OKC, and the game before that, they won 103 to 82 in Golden State. The last time that the Thunder beat the Warriors was on November 25th of 2019. They won 100 to 97 in Golden State. Ironically enough, they had back-to-back wins there, and I think that had to be a, a playoff series. Now. The Warriors are 7-24 on the road this year, and the Thunder are 19-15. This is why I'm kind of so skeptical about this game, but I this is probably another one of those trap games. The Warriors are 6-4 in their last 10. They are 6-4 against the spread. The last seven games that they've played have gone under, and the under is 8-2 in their last 10. And I understand that Curry just came back, so a lot of these games were without him. Now, we've had 218, 207, 206, and 228 points in the Warriors' last four games. And for the Thunder, they've won and covered their last two games. They are 4-6 and in their last 10. They are 4-4-2 against the spread. So they won four, they lost four, and two were a push. The over has hit in their last four games. The over is 6-3-1 and one in their last 10. We've had 248, 233, 240, 240. That's their last four games. I'm going to roll with the Warriors on this one, even though it's probably going to come back to backfire on me epically just because they own the Thunder. So I'm going to take the Warriors with the money line. I'm going to take the Warriors laying the four. And something tells me that this game is going to go over, probably because the Thunder don't play defense. So I'm going to go over. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.